Hey Quilty friends, happy Monday. So <laughs> I'm sharing two videos today on this Monday and last week for the little bonus video, I shared a little peek of me using my Statler stitcher and quilting out a fun spider web design. And today I'm actually going, because this is another bonus video, you know, I only am for the most part posting one of my regular machine quilting videos a week, but I've been adding in these live bonus videos and I hope you enjoy them. I hope they're inspirational to you and you can find something from them to take away. You know, even if edge to edge or computerized quilting isn't your thing, it's okay. There's a time and a place for everything. So the reason why I like felt like I had to share this one with you and why I'm so excited about it is it's going to be super cool and I'm doing something totally out of the ordinary to really dress up computerized edge to edge quilting. So I'm going to turn this around and show you. Let's see right there. Okay. So this quilt right here, it's this really cool quilt made by my client Brittany, you know, super modern, very like improv kind of. And she selected this super cute pattern right here to be the edge to edge machine quilting pattern. Now this pattern is called Square Dance. It's a digital pattern that I designed and it's available on my website, peaceandquilt.com. But as you can see here, this quilt is very blue and it does have little specks of hot pink in it though. So when I looked at this quilt and I know Brittany well enough, I know her style, the first thing that came to my mind is what if I randomly use a different thread color? So you can see how up there in the top I've used just one neutral thread color. Then I'm switching right here and stitching this out in hot pink. And then I'll do the same a couple more times through the quilt. So it's going to be really subtle, but just something to add a cool bit of texture. So I'll restart my machine and let it you see it stitch out this design. I'll probably share more of this design on my blog later or on Instagram so you can check it out there. But hopefully that just gave you an idea, you know, something fun to do. Occasionally switch thread colors and you can really dress up a fun edge to edge pattern. Thanks everybody for being so supportive and positive here. I really, really appreciate it. Oh. Hold on, I pushed the wrong button. <laughs> you can just take a look at the quilt for a second. so you can see what it looks like. If you're just joining in, make sure you check out, I posted another fun video today that I do some really cool faux trapunto work on. 